What's going on miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. So yesterday's video I put out, I got a couple comments about this trailer and the solar setup I have here, as well as the battery setup I have in there. So we're gonna go over a few comments today and I wanna ask you guys a few questions personally. So if you guys are into that, let's do it. So just before we jump into the actual crypto mining solar trailer, we are going to go over the comment I got from this guy right here. In yesterday's video, at the end of the video, you could see this shadow from this tire right here, as you can see, was literally halfway or probably a quarter of the way over one of these panels. I think it was this guy right here. And I didn't even realize that that actually covered the panel at some point when the sun's on its way down. So thank you so much for pointing that out. I am going to remove that tire today. I just don't know if it's gonna be in the video, but I'll remove it before the end of the day today. Thank you so much for that. So now I wanna talk about this setup right here. So this all looks absolutely fantastic, right? And I got a few comments. One was something about um, it being dangerous having the copper kind of exposed like on these guys right here, these bus bars. Now this is only 24 volts, so it's not dangerous. Like it's not gonna kill you, but it can absolutely cause an arc if I was to drop a wrench and like cross terminals or a wire or something crazy but realistically this shouldn't be an issue that's just my opinion if you guys disagree please leave it in the comments below i'm open to any suggestions but the real big suggestion that i got i don't remember what the guy's name was i'll put it up on the screen if i could find it but he mentioned that you should not take the positive terminal from the top part of the battery and the negative terminal from the top part of the battery and tie them in to the system. Now, he said I should take this wire right here and bring it down to the bottom. So it's basically crossing the batteries to make them evenly discharge and that is a pure fact that I should absolutely do that. I did see that in a video before and I totally forgot. So thank you to you for leaving that comment. You're amazing. I really appreciate everybody in this community. You guys are fantastic. Now, I wanna ask you guys what you have for questions for me. So I'm going to actually disassemble and change this setup right here today because it's driving me nuts. I really can't stand having these batteries stacked and on top of it, this thing is leaning a little bit because the uh, housing on the front is a little thicker than the back and it kind of like tilts backwards if that makes sense. So this entire thing's leaning and I just can't stand it. Those batteries need to come off and I need to shim those. But I need to know what you guys need to know for wiring, okay? I wanna do a video, there's the whiteboard. I'm ready to do this either live or just recorded, but I wanna have your questions. Do you guys have questions about series connecting? Do you have questions about parallel connecting? Do you have questions on how this inverter is hooked up, like how it all works entirely? Do you want a breakdown of everything on the whiteboard or do you just need certain things? So please leave in the comments below. That's like my main goal here is to give you guys what you want in a video and let me know if you guys want that live or if you just want it recorded. I'm down to do anything, but that needs to be changed. So I'm gonna do that right now just because it needs to be done. It might look a little sloppy. I'm not gonna change any wires. I'm just gonna rip this box out of here and get these bus bars to the wall and change this because that comment was absolutely correct. So let me do that, we'll be right back. All right, she's all done. I ripped them out and I think this looks a thousand times better. Now, I know this is a little sloppy. Like I said, I didn't change any wires. I just mounted the bus bar on the right side and the left side. Obviously that's positive, that's negative. Now I did move that cable. Again, thank you so much for mentioning that. I have that hooked up and I will neaten this up at a later date. I'm just not sure exactly how. I did end up changing this wire with this wire, so a shorter jumper right in between the two Battleborns because obviously the copper to copper like that style isn't going to work because of the style of the terminals here. But either way, again guys, this is all situated. I know this is a short video, but I need to know what you guys wanna know. So let me know down in the comments below, please. I know it's a lot to take in when it comes to solar, but it's really not as complicated as it seems. So again, just leave it down there. But as always guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching. It is super hot out. I had a long day today. Again, I apologize for the short video, but I will catch you guys real soon. Oh, actually forgot to even show you. I removed the tire, buddy.
Thank you so much for that. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.